do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students in this video we will discuss about uniform circular motion time period frequency uh, of the uh, body while performing uh, a simple harmonic motion or any sort of uh, uh, circular motion so we'll discuss that that is uh, ucm uniform circular motion hello students let us start with uh, uniform circular motion so it is uh, 1.4 uniform circular motion in short we discuss say it is ucm we know that uh, the circular motion is that the radius vector magnitude remains constant if we have a motion like this a particle in a circular path from here to here at any position this is the center the particle can be at any position this is the radius vector suppose this is point 1 and 2 this is r1 vector position vector r2 vector we know that the directions are different but the magnitudes are same so if we have a condition like uh, magnitude of a radius vector or position vector is constant this implies circular motion if the magnitude of radius vector is constant then it is circular motion then uh, what is uniform circular motion how this word uniformity is attached to circular motion the uniformity is attached with uh, one condition that we impose on the body which is moving and that condition is that you keep the speed constant so if the speed that is the magnitude of the instantaneous velocity remains constant we call this as linear speed If the linear speed of the particle is constant then we say it is uh, performing uniform circular motion so if we have these two conditions together that will make uniform circular motion that means the definition is that if a particle moves along the circumference of the circle such that it's a linear speed remains constant then the motion is uniform circular motion okay if this is the definition this is the definition of ucm if the particle if the linear speed of the particle moving If the linear speed of the particle moving in a circular path is constant, the motion is said to be UCM. So let me discuss a few more things that uh, if I have a situation like this and uh, suppose that the particle is moving in the anti-clockwise sense, then uh, at uh, the velocity uh, vector can be drawn by drawing a tangent at any point suppose the particle is here i have to draw a tangent like this this is the direction of velocity vector 
because the magnitude is constant so here also it is tangent here also it is tangent here also it is tangent so this is the direction of velocity vector we must keep in mind that uh, the direction of the velocity vector is uh, changing every seconds or each and every instant of time as it go as it goes along the curve of the circumference that is circular motion and uh, the magnitude if i keep constant the speed remains the same then it is u shape so we have to say that the velocity is not constant so it is wrong if you write that the linear velocity is constant the velocity is never constant because the direction is changing any vector to be constant its direction and magnitude both have to be same in this situation it is only the magnitude which is kept constant therefore it is ucm so what are the things that you can write about uh, ucm just uh, what are the quantities which are constant in ucm just let me tell you i i do not write that when uh, linear speed is constant angular velocity is constant angular speed is constant angular acceleration is zero because that's the omega is constant there is no alpha to make omega change the kinetic energy is constant because uh, kinetic energy is uh, half m uh, v square v is the speed square not it is the velocity it's speed square speed is constant kinetic energy is constant angular momentum is constant in a circular path the angular momentum will remain constant so acceleration what about linear acceleration linear acceleration is not constant because its direction is changing that we will study afterwards what is the acceleration that acceleration is called centripetal acceleration that we will discuss afterwards now the velocity is not constant and these are the things next uh, we will uh, move to the definitions of uh, and what are the examples of ucm let us take few examples then we'll define what is the uh, time period and frequency of uh, body in a circular motion now let us take a uh, example of uh, ucm ucm we will take some example example of ucm is uh, body moving in a circular path like uh, hands of watch whether it is minute hand second hand or hour hand it is uh, moving at constant speed it is covering the angle and uh, many more examples you can uh, have on ucm the motion of uh, planets around the sun though it is uh, exactly not uh, uh, constant speed because when uh, when you think of uh, path of the planet uh, around sun as a circular then it is constant then it is ucm but uh, Kepler says that the path is elliptical, so it is not constant. When it approaches the sun, its speed uh, keeps on increasing, and when it uh, moves away from the sun, then its speed starts decreasing. But in any way, we can say that the planet motion around the sun is a uh, uniform circular motion, as long as the path is considered to be as uniform uh, circular motion. You can have uh, electrons moving around the nucleus that also is uniform circular motion the speed is constant in case of uh, electron in hydrogen atom of first orbit the speed is nearly two times uh, 10 to the power six meters per second so that is also constant so electrons around 
न्यूक्लियस इलेक्ट्रॉन अराउंड न्यूक्लियस दैट इज आल्सो कांस्टेंट एंड इफ ऑल इलेक्ट्रॉन इन हाइड्रोजन आटम इट इज 2 10 टू द पावर 6 मीटर पर सेकंड दिस इज द स्पीड इन द फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आटम एच आटम इन द फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट द स्पीड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इज दिस वन फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट एन इज 1 So these are the examples. We can have many more such examples. Now we'll uh, define what is uh, time period and frequency of uh, circular motion. Time period. Suppose the particle is moving in a circle. Suppose the particle is moving in a circle. Now. Suppose that particle is moving in a circle with the particle P and uh, so this is a particle P and it is moving in uh, anticlockwise sense. Now how much time it will take to complete one revolution starting from this point it comes back to the same point again when it completes one rotation how much time it will take that is known as time period so time period is <coughs> so time period is the time Just complete one rotation. It may be electron around the nucleus or planet around the sun. For example, Earth takes uh, 365 days to complete one rotation. Though it is not exactly 365 days, uh, some more hours is there. Similarly, the spinning of Earth around its own axis. Spinning of Earth about its own axis it takes 24 hours to complete one rotation that is also uh, time period is 24 hours so this is how it is defined time period the unit is always in uh, seconds frequency is what what is frequency let us write that Time period, I use the symbol capital T. Frequency, I use the symbol small n. It is the number of revolutions or rotations completed in a given second and in unit time. It is the number of revolutions. It is the number of revolutions completed in one second. In one second, how much such a uh, revolutions uh, it is making? Suppose in one second it completes two revolutions, then its frequency is two. If it is half of the total path, uh, circular path, then it is uh, mm, the frequency is half. So in one second, how much is the portion it is covering? That is frequency and uh, the unit of frequency is uh, Hertz. Uh, it is the revolutions per second. How much revolutions is completing? Revolutions per second. So it is written as RPS, revolutions per second. This is an SI system. And if it is in RPM, revolutions per minute, then you have to convert to RPS. In numericals, you will have to uh, convert this into RPS. 
suppose uh, example we have uh, 60 rpm this implies 60 revolutions per minute that means in one minute that is in 60 seconds it is 60 revolutions so in one second how much revolutions one one revolutions per second so to convert that whatever is the value here divide by 60 that becomes rps so it is one rps similarly suppose uh, it is uh, 180 rpm this implies 180 divided by 60 so it is uh, 3 rps that means one second three revolutions in 60 seconds it is 180 revolutions that is in one minute it is 180 revolutions so in this chapter you will be basically dealing with the rpm and rps you don't have to worry about the hertz factor that is very used in uh, uh, waves now this is about uh, time period and the frequency and uh, you must know uh, how they are related just i'll give you one uh, formula a uh, time period is reciprocal law of frequency similarly the other way you can say that the frequency is reciprocal of time period of revolution okay so these are the things and uh, we must take note of this so this is all about in this video in the next video we'll discuss something else thank you